हंड्रेड परसेंट कोड ड्रिवेन स्प्रिंग प्रोग्रामिंग विच इज एक्सटेंशन ऑफ एनटेशन ड्रिवेन प्रोग्रामिंग एंड वी हैव कन्वर्टेड अवर मिनी प्रोजेक्ट इन टू हंड्रेड परसेंट कोड ड्रिवेन स्प्रिंग प्रोग्रामिंग आई होप एवरी वन रिमेंबर दैट right guys now listen dependency look up in spring boss this is our discussion yeah dependency management is in how many types guys dependency management what is basically dependency management dependency management giving dependent class object to a target class object this is dependency management it can be done in two ways it can be done in two ways okay number 1 dependency lookup are in shell days we discussed all these things dependency lookup and we have one more of a dependency injection dependency injection uh, this dependency management is also called as ioc inversion of control yes uh, here what happens guys here target class searches and gets dependent class object come on searches and gets dependent class object uh, here what happens underlying सर्वर आर कंटर आर जेवीएम आर फ्रेम वर्क डिमेंबर्ड ऑल दि स्टफ डायनामिकलीनामिकलीसाइन dependent class object to target class object dependent class objects to target class object tell me five modes of dependency injection guys five modes in dependency injection five modes of implementing dependency injection yes what are those five modes number 1 setter injection number 2 constructor injection number 3 come on aware injection number 4 come on guys look up method injection in shortcut look up method injection guys uh, so this aware injection is also called as guys interface injection interface injection look up method injection number 5 method injection also called as a method replacer also called as method replacer everyone know setter injection and constructor injection guys but we want to learn this dependency lookup and remaining three injections dependency lookup and remaining three injections got it yes okay 
ഫീൽഡ് ലെവൽ ഇഞ്ചക്ഷൻ ഓൺലി അനട്ടേഷൻ ലെവൽ ബോസ് ഓക്കെ ഫീൽഡ് ഇഞ്ചക്ഷൻ ഓക്കെ ഫീൽഡ് ഇഞ്ചക്ഷൻ ഇന്റർഫേസ് ഇഞ്ചക്ഷൻ ആ വൺ മിനിറ്റ് ഫീൽഡ് ഇഞ്ചക്ഷൻ ഓൺലി ഇൻ അനട്ടേഷൻ എൻവയർമെന്റ് only in annotation environment i think uh, this is not written completely here we are having interface injection okay interface injection okay now the question is when should we go for when should we go for dependency lookup and when should we go for dependency injection this question rises in your brain or not okay ah uh, now listen this is a very important answer if dependent class object is required in multiple methods of target class go for if a dependent class object is required in multiple methods of target class go for dependency injection now when i say dependency injection especially setter injection and constructor injection are you getting my point guys if dependent class object is required in multiple methods of target class then go for dependency injection not mainly setter injection guys class object is required is required in multiple methods of target class set setter injection and constructor injection now listen guys cricketer and cricket ball cricketer and cricket ball and now tell me guys cricketer and cricket ball cricket ball is dependent to cricketer to play cricket cricket ball for cricketer cricketer cricket ball is required or not required yes uh, now listen okay in cricketer what are the methods we are having boss in cricketer cricketer what are the activities we will do batting bowling batting bowling come on guys batting bowling fielding fielding sometimes he will do wicket keeping right wicket keeping uh, now tell me guys uh, cricket ball is required in one method of cricketer or on all methods of cricketer cricketer do we employ who is this dirty fellow dharmendra kumar cricketer will do empiring i am not talking about delhi cricketer worst fellow <laughs> i am talking about gully cricketer i am talking about uh, international cricket okay uh, now listen guys cricket ball is required in multiple methods of cricketer so that's why better to go for dependency injection or not okay another example boss vehicle 
vehicle engine vehicle engine ah, come on in vehicle start is there in vehicle we are having start stop move move come on guys move and then entertainment entertainment okay entertainment sound horn sound horn right like this we are and, and etc methods boss engine is required in one method or multiple method engine is required in one method or multiple method in multiple method to start vehicle engine required to stop vehicle engine required to move vehicle engine required for entertainment engine required or not required but already it is required in three methods right for entertainment engine is required for audio player video player battery is enough ra babu for sounding horn engine is required or not required battery is enough right but but already it is required in three methods right already is required in my three methods here cricket ball is required cricket ball is required cricket ball is required in multiple methods of cricketer cricketer class okay guys uh, next here engine is required engine is required in multiple methods of what guys in multiple methods of vehicle class analyze boss analyze i think uh, like this you can pre prepare a number of examples boss okay analyze if dependent class object is required only in one method of only in one method of target class it is not required in multiple methods guys it is enough only in one method of target class then go for only in one method of target class then go for dependency lookup then go for dependency lookup are you listening yes guys uh, now listen cricketer and cricket bat uh, now listen guys cricketer and cricket bat cricketer and cricket bat uh, cricket bat is required only in batting method of only in batting method of cricketer class only in batting method of cricketer class uh, tell me i think uh, even though cricketer will do batting bowling fielding wicket keeping but that is now cricket bat is required only in what guys cricket bat is required only in batting method not in other class other places so i think better to go for dependency lookup or dependency injection dependency lookup uh, tell me another example tell me another example i have given one example i am expecting another example from you people 
ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆ ನೋ ಗೈಸ್ ಸಾರಿ ಹಾ ನಾವು ಫರ್ಗಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಗ್ಲೌಸ್ ನಾವು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಗ್ಲೌಸ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಅರೆ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ನಾ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅದರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಆ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ 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 ಈಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ನೋ 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 ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೈಬ್ರರಿ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರೆಸ್ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರೆಸ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಲಿಸನ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಫೋನ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಫೋನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಚಾರ್ಜರ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಚಾರ್ಜರ್ ಕಮಾನ್ ನಾವು ಟೆಲ್ ಮೀ ಗಾಯ್ಸ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಫೋನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಚಾರ್ಜರ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಪೇಷೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ನಾ ನೋ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಗೈಸ್ ನಾವು ಲಿಸನ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಫೋನ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಚಾರ್ಜರ್ ಇನ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಗೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಡೂ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಡೂ ಗೇಮ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಗೇಮ್ playing game is one method playing game is one method uh, next uh, surfing surfing means internet is one method charging is one method come on charging a uh, next uh, calling is one method calling in one method like this n number of methods are there uh, now tell me guys okay char mobile charger is required in all methods or uh, only in charging method uh? mobile charger is required in all methods or uh, only in charging method uh? mobile charger is not required while playing games mobile charger is not required while surfing mobile charger is not required while calling mobile charger is required only in charging method right okay ah uh, mobile charger is required charger is required only in only in charging method of come on charging method of only in charging method of target class only in charging method of mobile phone class i think you are understanding how to think boss okay next one person food person food are person will do so many things in his day like person will do so many things in his day activity okay work uh work uh, now tell me what next one eating eating next one eating next one uh, pers- personal needs personal needs he will complete personal work he will do sleeping he will do sleeping uh, next social 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 ga- social gathering uh, now tell me guys you need all you need food in all the methods or only in eating process 
अरे यू डू जॉब ओके जॉब इज वन मेथड फुड इज रिक्वायर्ड ओनली इन ईटिंग मेथड ऑफ वॉट टारगेट क्लास इयर फुड इज रिक्वायर्ड फुड इज रिक्वायर्ड हा टेल मी गाइस only in only in uh, what is this eating method of target class see that means target class will have multiple methods but dependent is not required in all methods dependent is required in only in one method i think all my examples you connected nicely na boss no confusion where to use dependency injection where to use dependency look up guys right like this you can have lot of real life example it's not like that only one example fine boss hmm. but no doubt 95% we go for dependency injection in real time <laughs> 95% we go for dependency injection i am talking about only 5% situations listen data source injected to dao required in one method of dao or multiple methods of dao multiple are one method i'll matter your worst fellow multiple methods and then better to go for dao data source dependency injection dao injected to service required in one method of service or multiple methods of service multiple methods service injected to controller is required in one method or multiple methods multiple methods so that's why in general aid application we need more of dependency injection only boss okay na we need dependency injection only are you getting my point okay dao dao data source comma okay service service dao next controller ah what is that controller service always needs dependency injection very rarely we need dependency look up guys <laughs> always need dependency injection always need dependency injection or the otherwise not always we'll say most of the times most of the times very rarely that situation will be there using in one method of target class right okay uh, in project level i didn't occur any scenario guys maybe validation part kind of thing validations will be there na validations validations i may not need do every time i may not do every time come on guys validating inputs so that time you may go for dependency lookup yes i will talk i will talk about that also in future you will get that scenario also uh, shall i implement one poc on dependency lookup guys shall i implement one poc of dependency lookup i'll take cricketer example i think everyone connected to that example cricketer and cricket bat shall i take that okay cricketer and cricket bat boss new meven project yeah your choice i implement one thing you implement remaining examples your choice okay me when i fun arkit no i just uh, i give multiple use cases to know how to think that is main intention because uh, you should not follow example you should be in a position to create example right 
Okay, IOC pros. IOC pros 26. First, we'll see an XML level. And then we will try to convert that one into annotations. Okay. IOC pros 26. Dependency lookup. Dependency lookup. Which I also called as a TDL. Traditional dependency lookup. Because lookup method injection also internally uses dependency injection, boss. That's why this first one, I call it as a traditional dependency lookup. Are you understanding my point, guys? Okay. Quick start only, I selected now, boss. Did I select any wrong thing? It has not come nicely here. I, did I select wrong uh, this one? Okay, no problem. We delete and we recreate the project. New Miven project. Say next. Miven iPhone. Archetype iPhone. Quick start. Oh, I think last time three has not come. Mm. Mm. Next one. Okay. Are cement mobile. Cement mobile. Cement mobile. Sim is required in multiple operations of the mobile now, boss. Okay. Sindhu, madam, you written example, but you are asking about they fall under dependency injection or dependency lookup. See, you can take any example, but criteria is important. You should analyze it. Whether it is required in one method or multiple methods. Sir. Suppose mobile device and SIM card. Now you sit and analyze. SIM card is required in one method or multiple methods. Sir. If it is required in one method, go for lookup. If it is not required in multiple method, required in... If it is required in multiple method, go for injection. If required in one method, go for lookup. That's it. That's it. There's no big uh, big things here. Right. Moreover, mobile and mobile and mobile plans. But first of all, mobile and mobile plans cannot be in relation, boss. Mobile account and mobile plans will be in relationship, right? Okay. So, mobile account, that means mobile number, mobile number or mobile account and uh, data plans will be there in relationship. Device will never be in relation with mobile plans, right? Okay. So, first try to know domains properly. IOC pros 26. Okay. IOC pros 26. Declarative approach and the XML approach. Uh, next, uh, what is the traditional? Traditional dependency lookup. Traditional dependency lookup. Package com dot nt dot test. Com dot nt dot test. Now the question that comes is to perform dependency lookup. Dependency to perform dependency lookup in spring. Spring supports both. You know that in spring. In spring. This is looks very heavy, guys. We need to take actually ctx dot get bin method is there now that is lookup operation only. Observe, we are giving bin ID, searching and getting bin object, right? <laughs> Come on, guys. Ctx dot get bin method is indirectly lookup operation, boss. In the client application, whatever we are doing so far, indirectly that is some kind of lookup operation, right? Okay, but. But now I'm talking with respect to target and dependent. Forget about client part. To perform dependency lookup in spring, 
we need to take an extra ioc container an extra ioc container in 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 that single method of target class in that single method of target class and use ctx dot get bin method having dependent class bin id having dependent class bin id to search and get dependent class object to search and get a dependent class object are you understanding in target class single method you take extra ioc container and call ctx dot get bean method having dependent class bean id so that what happened ctx dot get bean method is indirectly performing lookup operation only so that because it takes bean id searches and gets the bean object right now boss right this is very important if you want to perform dependency lookup go for it this is what we have to do guys okay what is that taking an extra ioc container this is one thing and calling ctx dot get bean method this is one thing should be highlighted so total how many ioc containers will be there in that application guys Total, how many IOC containers will be there in that application? Tell me, my dear. Two will be there. One is in client application. One is in client application. Come on, guys. One is in target class single method, specific single method, right? Target class specific single method. Okay, we don't need any extra jars, guys. Regular jars are sufficient. Five point three point seven, guys. Done. Year dependency boss. Say paste. Year dependency. This one. Go for me when update. All fundamentals are same. Go for Maven update. Update project done. Update project done, guys. Uh, here take other packages. Package com dot nt dot beans. Package com dot nt dot cfzs. com dot nt dot cfzs here com dot nt dot beans class what is this cricket bat cricket bat cricket bat are cricket bat bat will do score okay bat will do what guys scoring runs right scoring runs score runs right okay public public int score runs cricketer uses cricket bat to score runs right cricketer uses in batting to score runs so bat will be used to score runs or not Okay, I will return one or other random number. New random of new random dot next int of okay two hundred in between one or other number I am giving. Nice guys. Okay, to give the feeling first. Okay, object is created. Here I will take constructor. to check whether object is created cricketer zero param constructor 
next sisidres sisidres score runs is another method score runs is another method now target class boss class uh, now tell me cricketer cricketer mm. uh, now tell me what cricketer earlier i used to take has a has a property now has a property is required a huh? now has a property is required having dependent class property dependent class type property not required come on okay uh, here also i will take a constructor to give the feeling object is created sis dress cricketer colon zero param constructor okay cricketer colon zero param constructor okay boss now listen public wide fielding Fielding. Ah, uh, come on, guys. Sis out. Cricketer is. Cricketer is doing fielding. Fielding the ball. Cricketer is doing fielding of ball. Are doing fielding, boss. That's it. What is there in that? Okay. Ah, uh, next. bowling cricketer is doing bowling are catching ball is also part of the fielding ra worst fellow hemanta being a indian i should teach all the things uh, okay next one <laughs> wicket keeping public wide wicket keeping cricketer 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 uh, cricketer is doing wicket keeping boss cricketer is doing wicket keeping nice boss okay i am not writing serious logics there okay but our main method is what our main main method is what batting boss batting hmm. are to do batting bat is required or not required hey see listen in all the place ball is required since ball is required in multiple method i can go for cricket ball through dependency injection in one target class we can have both dependency injection and dependency lookup only the thing is i am not highlighting dependency injection in this example okay guys uh, in one target class we can apply both dependency injection and dependency lookup lookup if needed both dependency injection and dependency lookup if needed right boss here is my batting method boss uh, create extra ioc container an extra ioc container yes guys hmm. now tell me here what is that extra ioc container class path xml application context ctx is equal to uh, what is the scope of this container within this batting method hmm. new class path xml application context of com slash nt slash cfz slash application context dot xml 
What dot XML guys? Application context dot XML. Super. Uh, now tell me. Get dependent. Okay. Perform dependency lookup. Perform dependency lookup to get dependent class object. Okay, guys. Uh, now tell me here how to do that. Cricket bat bat is equal to ctx dot get bean. Okay, let us assume cricket bat bean ID. I am going to take bat. Here is what cricketer da cricket bat dot class. Understanding my statement, boss. Okay. Use dependent class object. Are we are doing this much hangama to use dependent class object na or not? Int runs is equal to bat dot score runs. Cricketer is using bat to score runs in batting method. Okay, now I want to have a message. What is this? A cricketer is doing batting. Cricketer who is doing batting and his score is his score is is a current score is okay guys runs is a current score is runs. Now listen guys. Now, cricket bat is visible in all the methods are only in batting method. In all the methods are only in batting method. Only in batting method. I think you realized that. But yeah, this is but that is costly affair, guys. Creating extra IOC container, calling that means ctx dot get bean method is some kind of lookup operation. Why we give bean ID, it will search and get right, it will search and get bean class object. So, so far we have just used it in the client application to get it, but actually, client application is getting target class object through dependency lookup only. But I didn't highlight it. That means knowingly, unknowingly, already we have done dependency lookup in the client application. Only the thing is I didn't highlight it, it as a dependency lookup. Come on, guys. Right. Spring Bean configuration file, guys. Application context dot XML. Application context dot XML. Beans namespace. Who knows in future I may need context also. Beans latest version. Oh. Context. If you don't take layers, if you don't select latest version, default latest version only will come. Right, guys. Configure. Yeah, actually it's XML, no need of context. Configure uh, dependent spring bean. Uh, now tell me, bean ID is equal to bat. Class is equal to bean ID is equal to bat. Class is equal to uh, what is that? Cricket bat. Class is equal to cricket bat. Are you listening? Super. Uh, next one. Configure. Target spring bean. Bean ID is equal to cricketer. CKTR. Some bean ID guys. Class is equal to cricketer. Class is equal to cricketer. Okay, today you should, you should control your excitement of writing property tag or construct rifle or arg tag. Both are not required. Why? Are it is going for dependency lookup, boss. Yes, boss. Uh, now listen. New class. Traditional. 
dependency lookup test traditional dependency lookup test are this is called traditional also because lookup method injection also uses some kind of lookup guys that's why this is called traditional traditional dependency lookup test create ioc container now tell me class path xml application context ctx is equal to new class path xml application context com slash nt slash cfz slash application context dot xml application context dot xml uh, next get target spring bean class object yeah who is the target guys cricketer 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 is equal to ctx dot get bean of cktr is the bean id cricketer dot class cricketer dot class uh, invoke business methods invoke business method okay cricketer is first cricketer is first fielding yeah any order no problem cricketer is now bowling is all rounder cricketer was cricketer is since this cricketer is bowling is not going to keep the wickets right now cricketer is batting Uh, now cricketer is batting close container ctx dot close got it now boss All right so there are some corrections i should do guys wait java application uh, now listen now listen cricketer cricketer is batting cricketer is uh, see cricketer cricket, see because of pre instantiation first container is creating both boss singleton scope objects okay then we got a cricketer cricketer class object to client application client is calling fielding client is calling bowling client has called batting method also client has called batting method okay here i will write sys trace sys trace uh, now client has called batting method also check it out client has called batting method also but uh, batting method is creating extra ioc container extra ioc container means again pre instantiation of singleton scope means will take place or not come on again pre instantiation of singleton scope beans takes place or not because this extra ioc container is creating the damage or not boss so second ioc container creation is a bad thing it's not a good thing right second ioc container is created and it is doing one more time pre instantiation it is doing one more time pre instantiation come on guys okay cricketer second ioc container creation second ioc container creation i am talking about this one boss this part i am talking everything is perfect second ioc container is also good but the second time pre instantiation is bad na boss unnecessarily single singleton scope but getting the feeling more objects are created getting the feeling more objects are created come on guys
ओके अभिषेक सिंह इफ यू जॉइन लेटली डोंट इरिटेट मी ओके अभिषेक सिंह इज आस्किंग मी वन क्वेश्चन लिजन आफ्टर लिजनिंग एंटायर रामायण सर देन वाई डोंट वी कैन यूज डी आई डरती फेलो इधर जॉइन फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग or don't irritate me asking this kind of questions when should i go for dependence injection already we got a clarity right okay and someone okay he is asking sir in one sir what is your problem if you go for dependency injection one bean object is required in multiple methods are unnecessarily you are exposing dependent object to other method where not required na boss unnecessarily are exposing unnecessarily are exposing dependent class to other method where it is not required right to avoid that problem we are going for dependency lookup to avoid that problem we are going for are unnecessarily visibility also so security breach or not if it is not exposed not used if it is exposed though it is not required people may use right Mr. Abhishek Singh, you got your answer. Yes. Okay. Now listen. So then, what should I do? How to solve this problem, sir? So I should solve this problem by keeping, uh, by keeping lazy instantiation on spring beans. Lazy in it is equal to true. By keeping lazy in it is equal to true. or by going to bean factory container or by going to bean factory container but going to bean factory container is not a good suggestion because we should avoid bean factory container boss okay that's why i'm going for lazy in it okay now see guys see guys see guys okay when only one object for cricketer one object for cricket bat when need is there then only object will be created otherwise objects will not be created a hey, problem is solved or not one more reason where lazy in it is required one more reason where lazy it is required come on i said problem but i solved the problem boss <laughs> i definitely solved the problem right okay guys will hash code same for created object anand code right now only one object is created na boss earlier two objects because two containers devash pande devash pande in previous example two ioc container two internal caches and in two internal caches two day singleton scope okay two singleton scope objects will be maintained separately two ioc container means two internal caches will be there na boss musaddiq you attend classes regularly then you will understand everything okay very simple this container application even this container is also application context right okay this container is loading xml separately ah creating single creating pre instantiation of singleton scope bin even this container also do this one ah uh, overall how many times pre instantiation is happening on beans boss two times two times means what do i really need two objects for cricket bat do i really need two objects for cricketer class no only one object is sufficient right do i need really need two objects for cricketer class do i really need two objects for cricket bat no not at all so only one object is enough So, but why two objects are coming? Because two containers, na, 
and two times loading of xml two times pre instantiation is happening so then how to stop then how to stop how to stop that pre instantiation by these containers by using lazy instantiation i hope you got it clarity boss musaddiq now connected ah or uh, you are listening lazy in it for the first time in life ah musaddiq please respond okay right listen main method container created here pre instantiation once okay from first container target class object came super cool on first container object a target class object fielding method is called fielding method is executed okay next bowling method is called bowling method is executed now batting method is called batting method is creating one more ioc container batting method is called one more ioc container uh, now tell me if lazy init is not there again here also pre instantiation of singleton scope bins will happen or not so that means what already two objects are created for two singleton scope objects again one more time pre instantiation is happening right i want to stop it if you want to stop it what should i do don't enable pre instantiation just disable pre instantiation i think you have got idea how problem is solved guys okay guys the devanash right now i am teaching xml driven annotation driven dirty fellow why are you thinking about annotations now don't irritate me by showing your talent stick to xml na boss okay there is one more problem which i have to sort out there is one more problem which i have to sort out listen guys i am hard coding dependent bin id here yes na boss i am hard coding dependent bin id there what do you say my dear Yes, I know, na. What is the problem of that? The problem of that is tomorrow B N I D changed <coughs> because I have a freedom of changing B N I D by touching X M L, right? Traditional dependency lookup test. It is problem or not? Traditional dependency lookup test. It is problem or not? speak out guys uh, then what should i do what should i do what should i do okay better to pass b n i d to target class through setter injection or constructor injection boss that means dependency lookup in mix with injection but right now i am not doing injection of dependent object i am planning to do injection of b n i d i am planning to do injection of b n id b n id injection i am planning to do are you realizing that point okay fine boss uh, now listen i am taking cricketer class i am taking cricketer class uh, now tell me here pravet pravet bat id private bat id i hope you are understanding my point private bat id bat id is b n id private b n id bat b n id ah uh, next here string bat id because that uh, in the array that bin in the that dependent b n id injection is compulsory boss that's why i am preferring setter constructor injection This dot bat id is equal to bat id. 
This dot bat id is equal to bat id. Come on, guys. Now I am going to have this bat here or bat id. Now hard coding is gone, na boss. Hard coding is gone or not gone? Hard coding is gone, right? Uh, now, go to XML. Go to XML. Okay, end of bean tag. Constructor iPhone org. Name is equal to bat ID. Name is equal to bat ID. Value is equal to bat. Tell me, am I injecting dependent object or dependent object bean ID? I am not injecting dependent object. No ref here. I am using value. Value means I am injecting bean ID here. Are you realizing it? Is it? Uh, is it? Uh, it is. It is dependent. It is dependent class. Dependent class. Bean ID injection. Bean ID injection. Uh, now you observe. No change in the output, guys. No change. Second IOC container created. Cricketer object is created. Scoring run and 34 runs he has scored. What is the advantage of this process? Tomorrow meet bean ID changed. Bat one. Here also I can read. Do I need to touch? Do I need to touch any Java code, guys? Do I need to touch any Java code, guys? Again, meet bean ID changed. Bat two. Yes, here also I am changing to bat2. Do I need to touch any Java code, guys? Say something, my dear. Now, problem is solid or not? Problem is solid or not? Okay, guys. Some more improvisations are there. I will give tomorrow. I think you've got basic idea about dependency lookup, guys. Okay, here is my example application. Yes, in this example application, this is the code I want to give to you people. Okay, this is what I want to give. Yes, what I would like to give is all the three things. Cricket bat dot Java. Cricket bat dot Java. Okay, no, no problem. Nothing happened. Nothing happened, boss. Cricket bat dot Java. Next one. Cricketer dot Java. Cricketer dot Java. What happened to Cricketer dot Java, guys? Copy it. Here is my cricketer dot Java. Here is my application context dot XML. Here is my client application. Traditional dependency lookup test dot Java. Okay. 
cricket bat dot java next cricketer dot java cricketer dot java here is my application context dot xml yes here is my traditional dependency lookup test dot java nice boss right that's it boss okay yes right so what other one two improvisations are there then we will see problems with the traditional dependency lookup in order to overcome these problems we will go for aware injection okay there are also some problems will be there to solve those problem lookup method injection we will go for and method injection is a separate process i will take up later this is the agenda boss i am not saying this is ultimately great traditional dependency lookup is having problems to solve them aware injection plus traditional dependency lookup there are also problems are there to solve that lookup method injection so ultimate final solution for all the problem is lookup method injection and all these things we are learning as intermediate things clear guys okay some people think the ah, sir second container code is looking heavy na yes i to agree that i am only saying all these are the limitations all these are the limitations this is definitely creating second ioc container calling ctx dot get bin method this is look up dependency look up code dependency look up guys everyone got the clarity boss come on right yeah i think yesterday also i have not committed code today i will commit the code 1 2 3 team share project done finish git to staging git to staging mm. when you commit multiple projects at a time yeah only share is not enough commit also you have to do okay guys uh, i'll i'll give last one name okay traditional dependency look look up traditional dependency look up say okay say preview say push everyone got the clarity boss come on easy understood when to go for dependency injection when to go for dependency lookup easy or not easy yeah definitely easy sir right super yeah tomorrow i'll start session by 7 only today it got late okay thank you guys we'll meet tomorrow